Hello and welcome to my channel and welcome to another reaction video. Today we are going to be watching Once Upon a Time, Season 2, Episode 15, The Queen is Dead. Now I've got a confession to make, and that is, it's not a spoilery confession, it's that uh, recently I've I've reached the conclusion it's not really a conclusion because it's purely guesswork I don't actually know but the idea has occurred to me that as far as once upon a time goes we've pretty much met all the major characters we're going to meet in the the series is already quite full of major and minor characters I don't really see how they can cram more in unless they do it in the Hansel and Gretel way which is you know introduce new characters just for that one episode to tell the story <sighs> there's nothing left to guess for the main characters we know who they are and we've seen pretty much I can't imagine there's much more to tell of any significance with regard to Snow White, the Queen, and um, the Prince, Prince, uh, Prince Charming. There's not that much to tell of their story anymore. So, where are we going to go for the next four seasons? I, I'm, I'm a bit worried that this series is suddenly going to just turn into a episodic plod sort of inventing stories within stories just to keep the series going uh, I don't know we're in the last episode we met Bay and we and we finally got the Bay is Neil Bay is Henry's dad major major mystery solved in that one and the last major mystery that we was presented with from the beginning what's left i don't know the aftermath the aftermath of bay rejecting rumpelstiltskin i think that could play a heavy part in the following episodes because you know with bell not remembering her emerald forest emerald forest enchanted forest life and with bay rejecting his you know his fatherhood what has rumpelstiltskin got left the last vestiges of humanity that he was keeping within him are going to be discarded he's going to become the monster and I don't want that because I like Rumpelstiltskin as he is that ambiguous sort of grey who knows who knows what, what's coming so the Queen is dead this episode which Queen are they talking about um, could they be talking about Regina could they be talking about Cora could they be talking about Maleficent? If we're going to go back in time, I'm sure she was a queen at some point. I maybe I'm wrong. But the queen I most want to know about, and having said that we've got not, not that much of Snow White's story left to tell, are we going to get Snow White's mother's story? Or even Sleeping Beauty's mother? No, I don't see how that would fit. No, I think I think I think we're going to get Snow White's mother because she was definitely a queen at one point, and we haven't really got to know her. Let's find out. And it is it's Snow White as a as a girl. I was right. Absolute vision. 
You are going to be the talk of the ball and not just because it's for your birthday. <laughs> okay, it's her birthday. And soon it will be yours. Oddly enough, the, the young actress looks less like Snow now than she did in the first season. She's uh, grown up a little bit. Well, by a year, I would assume, by this point. Joanna. Oh, oh. oh, Your Majesty. Oh, please Joanna. I just wanted to see you. How dare you? That's mine. Joanna. That's, uh... It's beautiful. <laughs> and it's heavier than it looks. <gasps> Your Majesty. Mother. I'm fine. No, no, you're not. Come. One always assumed that she was killed by Mother? some sort of evil, but... Did Snow's mother just die of natural causes? I'm sure someone mentioned that. <sighs> just watch. Just watch her. What are you doing? Making breakfast. Why? I'm hungry. What's this? Birthday present. No, I told you. It's not from me. No one else knows. Apparently someone does. And they also think you should celebrate. Was left outside the door this morning. Regina. She's the only one that knows Snow's but Snow's real birthday, surely. What is it? Ooh. Someone's playing a cool game. Obviously, she's going to be in storybook somewhere. Neither did I. We had the library and the clock tower in the credit sequence there. I don't know what that means. This is going to be something to rebel, maybe, somewhere. Oh, you found her then. It's Mary Margaret here. You'll always be my snow. <laughs> I never thought I'd see her again. <gasps> or this. Oh, I came across it in Mr. Gold's shop and I knew how much it meant to you. I knew you had to have it. Thank you. And you're sure this is where we're supposed to dig? They're looking for the dagger, aren't they? Yes. Cook marked it clearly. Uncle Silskin Sagger is here. Unless Hook lied to us. Well then, this map is useless. Gold is the only one who can translate it. The dagger controls him. If Cora gets it, she can force Gold and all his power to do her bidding. Or become the Dark One herself. Either one of those options sounds good. No. <laughs> Lucky for us, we can call the man himself. He's with Emma. Tried it. Sent a message. Well, we can't just wait. No, we have to bide time until they call us back or return. How? Regina, she doesn't trust her mother. Never has. If we can put some doubt in her about Cora's motives, it might slow them down. We'll cancel the ball. Then turn it into a celebration once you're better. We can't cancel your birthday. It will be fine. I will be well by then. I'll oh, see you walking in in that tiara. Tuberculosis or something. Yeah. What's going to happen to her? Is she going to die? I don't know. I don't want to lose her. We must hope the doctor will. He doesn't even know what's wrong with her. How can we please hope in him? There's something that can save her. Oh, yeah, there is, but 
comes with the price, dearie. If medicine can't cure the queen, perhaps magic can. <laughs> yep, knew that was coming. Yes. There is a benevolent fairy. Oh. Who can grant a person's wish if their heart is true. My dear sir. Where do I find this fairy? Tonight, go into the woods where the sky is clearest. Wish upon the blue star. She will appear to you. Can you wish upon a star? We're meeting Tinkerbell. So, shall I call you grandpa now? So, uh, you talked to him? He said it's complicated. <coughs> oh, I see. Well, maybe you just need some time. I don't know. Oh! You got there quick. Tick tock. Time's up, crocodile. Whoa. We gotta get back. One of your dad's enemies found us. Hook. You know him? The hook gives it away. We found a storage room and locked our stab happy pirate in there. Shouldn't be causing anyone else any problems. And get this, he had a map on him. It looks like he sailed his ship here. The captain's ship. The Jolly Roger instead of a car? It's the fastest vessel in all the rounds. Well, that's great, but who's going to captain it since the only guy qualified wants you dead? I can do it. Yeah. I can do it. Oh, right. You know how to sail a pirate ship? Yeah. I do. Because he didn't end up on this earth straight away, maybe. Is he going to turn out to be one of the Lost Boys or something? Mother Superior! We need your help. I Long story. Short version. Is this world wasn't my first stop when I left home. No. Yeah, I thought it'd be a couple hundred years old by now. That should be all right. Hang tight. He went to Neverland, where you stay young forever. I see this. What is it, kid? It's a text from David and Mary Margaret. You need to read it now. Emma. He told you where it is. In the clock tower, or one of the hands of the clock. And with or without me, someday you will be a great queen. Please don't leave me. As long I don't know how old that actress is, but she's damn good for her age. Straight to it. Very clever man. They can control him now. We did it. The dark one finally can be controlled. Indeed, he can be. But by whom? I think the day's finally come, my darling Snow, for you to learn a long overdue lesson. Johanna! You see, in the end, it isn't good or evil that wins, but power. <laughs> Your choice.
don't do this to me. Wasn't the blue fairy after all? That outfit. I don't know how that fairy stands. As for you, poison looks good on you, and death is most certainly. Oh, it was you that poisoned her. Why? Hmm. You raised her well. My daughter doesn't love me the way yours does you. Snow would have been a great ruler someday, but that'll never happen because my daughter will be queen. And all yours will be left with is knowing how I felt. How it feels to be the miller's daughter. The miller's daughter? I'll turn Snow White's heart black as coal. That candle won't be your final test. And once I've darkened her soul, it won't just be you I've destroyed. It'll be your legacy. So the the hatred of Snow and Do and the family feud started with Cora, not with Regina. Mother, watch out! No! Enough of this. Such a good girl. Oh dear. You have what you came for. No, they're gonna kill her anyway. Oh. Not quite everything. I knew it. I killed her anyway. Just for the sake of it. See where good gets you. That day at the stables, when I rescued her, that wasn't an accident, was it? Oh my God! Regina, sweetie, it's time for your writing lesson. <laughs> Mother, I have no lesson today. Oh, I thought you'd be happy. I arranged for you to have more time with Rosa another day. Of course. Thank you. Send the stable boy for my saddle right away. <laughs> you made sure I'd be in the pastures when Snow rode past. I'm so tired of these endless journeys. Your father, the king, is a lonely man. But have faith. Someday his wanderings will end. You had to make sure when I met Snow White. <laughs> Her father would be searching for a new queen. Help me! Shh, someone's here. Somebody help me! Oh my god. This knowledge change for you? She's a worse manipulator than gold has been. Are you won, mother. I am the queen. And if that's what you wanted so badly, why do you need Rumpelstiltskin's dagger now? Oh my word, what is she planning? What if I'm the one who has to change? Oh, change dark up. snow. I'm going to kill Cora. Well, that's a statement and a half, isn't it? It's well, one thing saying it, it's another thing actually going through with it. Wow, what an episode, what an episode. Um, what can I say apart from the fact that Bailey Madison's acting is astounding. Considering she was only 13, 12 or 13 at the time that that was originally broadcast. 
some of the emotional scenes that she's had to play, and in this episode especially, were, well, I would hesitate to give such an emotional scene to an actress that young. Um, even in music, um, people are told not to play too heavily emotional uh, pieces when they're too young because their inability to portray that level of emotion but Bailey Madison proves us wrong and if she's if she's got as much acting skill now now that she's what 17 18 as she had then then she is destined for big things the fact that I've not heard the name in recent years mad uh no no she obviously hasn't made it big yet but I'm, I'm confident she will with acting like that anyway enough of that it was quite a intense story and we find out that Cora has been manipulating things long before it seems even Rumpelstiltskin came on the scene and started messing about in Snow White's life. And I was completely wrong about there being nothing left of Snow White's story left to explore. Except maybe I did say that the business with her mother has yet to be resolved, but there we go. It has been. So what else is left for Snow White's story? <sighs> I, I'm amazed each week I don't know where I can't predict where each episode is going because each week I think that all the plot lines have been closed or at least vastly so vastly restricted that it's barely worth exploring but yet again I am left surprised and I like it it keeps me interested fantastic episode anyway thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time till then bye bye if you enjoyed this video you might enjoy one of my other videos like that one on the other hand if you didn't like this video maybe you'll like one of my other ones better